So it's the 14th of June today and uh, time I did something with this group clump of uh, white poplar collected trees. They are very thirsty trees. It's only 11 o'clock um, in the morning. They were watered yesterday evening and already these have started to wilt at the tips here. Um, so it's looking quite dry. They seem to just suck it up. Um, I think I'm going to have to put them into some sort of saucer like I do my alders. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim these back somewhat uh, just because they are getting a little bit, as they say, elongated. Uh, this side branch a possible side branch I think it's a little bit too low but I decided to leave it to help keep the tree healthy I'm going to chop back quite hard it's still interfering with the branches above which I'm also going to chop back and uh, chop that back this main central trunk has got a lot of uprights coming off it um, I'm going to remove those that are growing straight up, like so. Um, they're not really needed or wanted in the grand scheme of things. There's another piece coming straight out the front, just there. This piece hasn't taken off properly yet, so cutting back these pieces that are that have been shading it out. If you watched the last video, I wasn't entirely sure it was going to survive um, but it obviously is uh, this will give it a chance to regroup and uh, grow up and become part of the canopy I do want this to be a five trunk grouping not a, a four uh, this piece just just grown straight out and across the back not contributing really so I'm going to remove that and uh, I'm going to cut this piece off like so and then shorten that like so and take out that piece that's growing up in the middle that piece that's growing up in the middle and that piece that's growing up in the middle and uh, then finally I'm going to shorten this central trunk like so that seems quite drastic I know but uh, I don't want this to get huge huge um, I'm actually wondering whether I'm going to shorten it back a little further yes I am I'm going to take that one down to there I'm going to take that one down to there going to take this central one down to there and this one at the back here take that piece out okay quite drastic but um, this piece is all the same thickness from top to bottom effectively and I would like eventually to get a little bit more taper and this will allow for that okay time to give it a drink so it can perk up there is a playlist um, for these trees which will be linked in the description and in the um, end screen so you can go back and look um, these are collected trees and you can actually watch me literally um, cutting these out of the ground with a pen knife um, they were suckers coming off a tree growing alongside the canal where I used to take Coop for a walk and um, well still take Coop for a walk sometimes when he's up for it arthritis is getting worse and uh, we're off to see the specialist to see if there's anything they can do because his mobility is getting affected more and more but anyway back to the trees um, so yeah they were literally took my pen knife and just cut 
through the roots where they were suckering um, and brought the pieces home. Hence the very odd um, root base of this tree where it's just a piece of um, root uh, with the two shoots coming off it but I quite like it and uh, I decided not to go over seven trunk clump but to have the five and then this is a natural two and uh, I'm going to do the same with this one and give it a bit of a trim back. So this would be quite a nice candidate for a branch. Um, so I will shorten that. In fact, I'm going to shorten that back quite hard. I'm going to shorten the whole tree back likewise. And uh, shorten that off as well. The wire is beginning to cut in a little, so I'm going to remove that and hopefully the tree has set. It appears to have done, which is nice. Well, it doesn't look like much, and indeed isn't much at the moment, very little more than a a stick in a plant pot but one day you never know it might make an interesting bonsai they have a lovely leaf um, which uh, it's not showing very well on the camera I don't think but they're actually quite white underneath hence the white poplar um, and when the wind blows the whole tree will look white in the sunshine I think those showing better perhaps the whiteness of the underside of the leaf. Okay, so five minutes later, um, the trees had a really good drink and already this droopy foliage um, that was just limp and blah, has perked up again and uh, is looking fine. So what I'm going to do now is quickly put a small piece of recycled wire on here just to bring that piece upright um, rather than sticking off to the side I'm just wrapping it very loosely because these are very fast growers they have a reputation for colonizing and getting in first rather like birch do and uh, the wires cut in very quickly if you're not careful so I'm just wrapping that very loosely and I'm also going to pop a piece on there as well. I know I've said this a hundred times. A lot of the books from the experts put a huge emphasis on neatness of wiring. Um, which is important I guess if you're showing your trees at bonsai shows and things. I don't. Um, the wiring is purely functional. I prefer not to wire if I can help it um, because of the scarring you get if you um, leave it on too long. But uh, for me, the wiring is purely functional. So there we have it. I still think this branch is probably too low, but it might come off uh, at the end of the season. So a quick 360 degrees on this white poplar and uh, yeah very pleased with its beginnings got a long way to go now if you follow along subscribe there'll be a playlist um, and you can watch it from collection to well, whenever i'm not up to doing this any longer so much for watching i do really appreciate it do all the usual youtube likes and subscribes and commenting uh, but most of all, please look after yourselves. Stay safe, everybody.